Speaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Our people, they don't keep mute. Oh. Nobody talk anything. Oh. As uh, EFCC chairman, Bawa, don't spend 33 days in custody. Nigerians, they watch, they wait to see, you know, waiting our government go talk. But up till now, nobody don't talk anything. They keep mute. They're not going to charge them to court and they're not going to release them in safe. And much more that are being held. They won't charge them to court, but they will not release them. So the problem now we see the guy and I don't spend 33 days, and they, our constitution has been totally eradicated, totally, you know, not treated as what it should be. Our constitution has been rubbished. Yes, you know, these people do as they please and they get away with it. It is sad. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Federal government keep mute as suspended EFCC chairman spent 33 days in custody. The federal government has continued to keep mute over the arrested and detention over the arrest and detention of the suspended chairman of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC Abdurajid Bawa. Leave Nigeria recall that the embittered former anti grief agents boss Bauer has spent no fewer than 33 days in custody of the Department of State Services, DSS. It will be recalled that the secret police arrested Bauer on June the 14th, hours after his suspension by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Willie Bassi, the Director of Information, Office of the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, in a statement, in a statement announcing Bauer's suspension, cited weighty allegations of abuse of office levied against him as the reason for the president's decision. But even, but even after that, since his arrest, the federal government and DSS and had kept mute on the specific offense for which Bauer was arrested. The level of investigation and whether charges will be filed against him in court has continued to be a secret mission and private moment in the federal government. A statement by DSS spokesman Peter Afolayo shortly after Bauer's suspension on June the 14th said the embittered EFCC chairman arrived at the facility of the DSS in response to an invitation. The Department of State Security Services has invited Bauer, the suspended chairman of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, arrived a few hours ago. The invitation related to, same, to some investigative activities concerning him. The DSS spokesman has said, although it was earlier reported that Days after the arrest, the DSS searched Bauer's house and office in Abuja. Several calls for Afolayo on Monday to get an update on the matter were not answered. He also did not respond to a text message fired by a lines of correspondent. Commenting on the continuous detention of Bauer, an Abuja-based human rights activist, Pelomi, said it was illegal for DSS to keep Bauer in detention without trial. He only responded to an invitation and since then has been held. He said without any contradiction, the continuous detention of Bauer by the secret police for over three, month, three weeks now is, un is unconstitutional and has breached the fundamental rights of detention. Illegality cannot, be, cannot continue to happen and carry on in this country. His boss, Abuba Kamalami, has continued to walk free. And nobody is saying anything. Nobody has come at it, come at him and asked him a single question. Yet other people are being held captive. This is wrong and cannot be accepted. So you see exactly what is going on. You see exactly what is happening. And every single person is beginning to wonder, you know, where these things, you know, why we cannot obey the rule of law. By the way, we are not an advocate for power. No, that's not what we are saying. But what is wrong is wrong. Okay, Godwin Emefeli, Nandi Kano, Bawa has been kept by the DSS for a long time and nobody's saying anything. 
you know, for Bawa now we're hearing that he only responded to an invitation. The invitation he responded to has done something else. They will not tell you exactly what he has done. And this man is questioning, is asking, why, if you say Bawa has misconducted his office, what's happening to former attorney general of the federation? If you say Bawa misconducted his office, what about the former attorney general of the federation? What would you say he did? What exactly will you say that guy did? The former attorney general of the federation, Abuba Kamalami, he did and he did a lot, but nobody will talk about that because he's protected and is covered with powers that be. You know, so it's the ones that I suppose you go when you go to a tree, a tree that is covered with ripe fruit, you don't just go there and you pick any fruit. You can't just go there and go to the top of the tree and try to pick a fruit. You will enjoy yourself. You go for the what? The low hanging trees, the low hanging fruits. That's where your hands will go for first. The ones who are within reach, the low hanging fruit is the first place where you will stretch your hand to. You won't just stretch your hand straight away and start going to the very top. Uh -huh. How scales smell. You don't do it out now. How do you do it out? No. You go for what? The low hanging fruit. This is exactly what, you know, these guys are doing with Bawa. You know, they won't go for Abuba Kamalami, Bawa's boss. They won't go for him. They would rather go for the other people. If you want to, if you want to destroy a tree, why are you going to cut the leaves? You want to destroy a tree. You go straight to the root. You get, you get something to take it off the ground. You don't leave the roots stamped to the ground. And you say you are destroying. You could go there. You cut out all the leaves. Well, let me tell you what you've just done. You're giving it opportunity to even thrive more. Because a day will come. That thing will become so prominent, you cannot, you see, you cannot deny it. It will become bigger and better. Or you don't know the law of pruning. Oh dear. It will become bigger and better. That's what pruning does. It becomes bigger and better. You get me now? So these are some of the things that are happening. And why again and again we almost look at it more carefully and ensure that we do not allow the same thing. Why is Abu Bakr Malam may not be heard? Why is he walking scot free and others are being held in captivity? What exactly, you know, have others done that he has not done? So these are some of the things that are happening. These are some of the, you know, the issues we are faced with. And why again and again, we cannot afford to allow the same thing to hold us down. This country belongs to each and every one of us. And the time, the best time to begin to navigate and ensure that we do a lot of difference is now. Yes, so it is what it is. Please don't forget, every single one of us are important in all of this and we have a big part to contribute. So, let us start by doing the first and first. Okay, let's start by ensuring we do the right thing. God bless. Bye for now.